Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel Armac Fall. After the latest firmware update on the LG ZX there is a little bit of confusion and I have to admit I'm confused too. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. A couple of days ago, maybe a week or maybe already two weeks ago, I received a pop-up message on my screen and yeah, there was an important software firmware update for the LG ZX and I declined back then the update because I have my time. Software version or firmware version back then was the 043035 and yeah, Again, I declined the software version and also on the very next day when I turned on the TV, the message popped up again, declined again, because again, no time to do any testing. Um, I forgot about this till two days ago. I think it was two days ago when the message popped up again, but this time with the version 043040 and I was, I was actually very confused because I thought I missed something. Maybe by accident I installed the other version and I didn't notice it. But I double checked, of course. Um, no, the 35 was just gone, completely gone. And I think it was replaced by this version and I might know why. After the software version 04.30.35, some users reported issues or problems with the EARC, the Enhanced Audio Return Channel, which is an implementation from HDMI 2.1. And yeah, some users reported issues with sound and audio. So this is at the moment the only explanation or info what I can find, uh, what I can find um, why LG maybe removed this update from the channel and replaced it just within a couple of days with a different uh, firmware version or software version. So because if we have a look on the official release notes, there is not much of an info because what we have for the 35 is fixing minor bugs in software and for the 30, 40, sorry, 40 as well, fixing minor bugs in software, which can mean everything. Okay. So I checked all the official websites, including the Korean website, and um, there's everywhere the same information fixing minor bugs in software. And yeah, but again, I really think that the explanation with the EARC, the Enhanced Audio Return Channel, the um, bug maybe or issue, it's a good explanation why um, yeah, the 35 firmware was removed. Okay, so I did a little bit more research and I found some people that claiming that after the latest update, the um, software version 043040, the audio problems are gone. There's no issue anymore with the enhanced audio return channel. But unfortunately, I can't prove this because I'm not using this feature on my TV. But maybe, maybe someone from you uh, guys can actually, uh, yeah, put something in the comments. Maybe someone uh, experienced this bug and can confirm that after the latest update, um, the problems are gone or back to normal. So. I would much appreciate this, of course, and other people as well. And now let's talk about maximum peak brightness. And every time when there's a new update, the first thing what I'm doing, almost the first thing what I'm doing is testing the maximum peak brightness and HDR gaming mode, because as you may remember, LG stole, okay, they didn't steal, but they stole, they, they took 100 candela from our LG CX and I returned it back a, a little bit later with a new update or with a fix actually. And since then I'm, yeah, I'm checking the maximum peak brightness all the time and I can confirm there's no issue at all with the latest update with the 0430.40. I still have well over 700 candela, 730 candela I think I measured. This is, um, absolutely what I would expect from my TV. So in terms of the maximum peak brightness, there's no issue at all. Okay, my friends. So unfortunately I can't add anything else because I don't have any more information for you. All what I can say is that since I installed the update, the 0430.40, everything is working as it should be. There is no issue for me on my LG ZX. Okay. So there's no problem with the maximum peak brightness. There's no problem this time with the HDMI ports and yeah, it is just working fine. Okay. So the only thing what I have to add here is um, if you're experiencing any issue after a firmware update, not just in particular with this one, uh, if you experience any issue, then just try a factory reset from your TV. Okay. But keep in mind that if you do this, then you will delete everything on your TV. Okay. Also your picture setting, your calibrations, your, um, uh, installed apps and uh, passwords for Wi-Fi and so on and so on. Okay. So just keep this in mind, but this is actually 
one of the first thing I would try if you're experiencing any issue after a firmware update, okay? So that's for this video. Um, I of course we'll continue testing and if I find any major with this update I will update you here on this channel so make sure if you're new to my channel uh, please subscribe please support my channel and yeah yeah that's that's it okay thank you very much for watching me in diesem Sinne over and out see you bye